this video, you guys, is actually going to be a very fun video. Well, I say that about all my videos because they're all fun. But this video, we're talking about fashion. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Judine Russell and this is What You's Up To, where we talk about luxury, fashion, lifestyle, travel, and whatever else you's up to. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to all my returning babes. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And to all the lovely new faces, we are so happy to have you. So this video is going to be a really a fun video. And I know I say that about all my videos because they really are fun. <laughs> But in this video, I am going to show you guys what I wore for a week to work. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and keep on Let's watching. Jump right on in. So for my first outfit, I wore a Jonathan Simkai top. It's kind of like a camel nude color and it has a beautiful cutout that shows your neck. Ugh, I think the sexiest part of a woman's body is this neck region, the decolletage, I think it's called very beautiful very well made very expensive but very worth it the i believe it's cotton or wool it's not scratchy which i appreciate and um it has some stretch to it i think i'm wearing a size medium and it fits me well i think um and then i paired it with a black silk skirt you guys i am so into silks right now i'm so into silks right now i bought two more colors of this same silk skirt and i got this silk skirt from shein for a really good price grant you i don't believe it's real silk it's coming from shein but it looks like silk and i like that and it's not itchy or scratchy and i think the two textures because in the winter it's all about textures i think these two textures are so beautiful together um and a silk satin skirt is just so sexy I don't know if it's the texture. I don't know if it's the I don't know what it is about a silk skirt or the fabric silk itself. But it is so sexy and it feels so good against the skin. And then for boots, I did my patent leather thigh high. <laughs> These are high. Okay. These touch your uterus. So if you want a high thigh high boot get these ones this i got from steve madden at a good price i believe it was a little bit above 100 but it was worth it it's a beautiful camel color and i like what i like about this outfit is that it's not matchy matchy but everything complements and who says you couldn't wear brown with black hmm? who said that because this outfit is really giving i love it love 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 it and then to wrap up the outfit or tie it in, <laughs> I wore this beautiful Valentino V logo belt. Let me tell you, this belt is pretty pricey as well, but it's so worth it. It's actually reversible. Um, it has a black and a cognac side. I wore this with this just to tie in the cognac boot, you know, with the belt so everything can be cohesive. Love, love, love it. It's sexy, but chic, but classy, but boot. It's just giving. This outfit is giving and I loved everything about it. And for a lot of my outfits, you're going to see that I, I like black and brown. I like the, the play on black and brown, especially in the fall and winter. So I feel like this outfit is like feminine, but just like, it's just, it's just amazing. And um, these boots, oh, these boots are actually really comfy as well. Um, I don't know if they have a platform in them. I don't think so, but they're just really comfy and really sexy. So the boots with the belt, it's given. The top with the silk skirt, it's given. Also, my outfit, surprisingly, is like on trend, which I'm going to do a video about the trends that I'm loving for 2022. In that trend, it's cut out. So I like that the, the top was cut out, even though it has a... um you know like a high neck it still gives some sex appeal some femininity and it's still on trend even though if it wasn't on trend i still look good so <laughs> that was the first outfit for the week so the second outfit is what i'm actually wearing right now this is probably my favorite blazer it's just a color it's like a boutique green like a grass green but the color especially against my skin is just everything love it love 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 it i got this blazer from i believe it was nasty gal or misguided one of the one of them 
and um for about forty dollars because i you know last fall i was just like in love with green and i do not regret this purchase at all it is um an oversized blazer it hits me about like mid thigh i am five five and it just fits beautifully um I have nothing to say. I mean, to be honest, I was a bit hesitant because it's polyester. It's not like cotton or anything. But so far, so good. It has held up. I have not washed it as yet. Um, but I have steamed it. And, you know, I'm looking at myself. <laughs> but I have steamed it. And um, it's held up pretty well. And then I paired it with a... I don't... To be honest, I don't remember where I got this top. But it's kind of like a black and white. Um, it's actually a crop top. And I paired it with a black pencil pant just to keep those lines. I'm doing something big on the top. I wanted to do something fitting on the bottom. And these pants actually have a split in the hem. Yeah, split in the hem, which is very stylish. Um, it gives it an extra flair. And then I paired this with my Stuart Weitzman black square toe boot. This outfit was kind of like 90s vibe, I think, with the boot. But very chic, very classic, um, very fashionable, I think. <laughs> I know. And um, I just love this outfit. It's very, It was very easy um, with, you know, the pop of color with the green. And if you guys have any, like, pop of color, just pair it with black, pair it with white, and it's an outfit. I actually did belt this with a Gucci Slim belt because I didn't want it to be too oversized. But if you don't have a belt, that's fine. If you don't have a Gucci belt, that's fine too. Um, but I just liked how, you know, my waist was was a little cinched. And um, the pant was giving me a long line. So this was Tuesday's outfit. And then for a bag, um, I wore, you know, my Marc Jacobs black tote bag, which goes with everything. It's a perfect work bag. If you were thinking about getting it, just get it. It's worth it. And um, it has good wear and tear as well. So you won't regret it. Next outfit is probably one of my favorite outfits for this week. I actually was going to wear it on Wednesday because on Wednesdays we were pink. Okay. But Wednesday was too cold. Okay. We were not wearing pink on Wednesday. But <laughs> anywho, <laughs> this outfit is pretty affordable as well. I got it from Shein. The top. Let's start with the top first. So the top I got from Shein. Beautiful black silk satin top. Not itchy at all. It features a beautiful cow neck. Um, very feminine. Very sexy. But very still modest. Especially for work. And then at the sleeves. It has a um, a bell sleeve. from At the wrist I should say. So it does have you know tiny designs. That makes it very special. It's not just like a regular black silk top. And then I paired it with a fuchsia pleated skirt that I got, I believe, from like Forever 21 or so from back in the day that I had. And um, I just want to incorporate more color, especially in the fall and winter seasons, because nobody want to just wear black, white, you know, like the boring colors. We, we want to zhuzh it up, you know. And I think this skirt is so perfect. If you have a pleated skirt, listen, 90s fashion is coming back okay 80s fashion is coming back as well i'm gonna do in my next video my favorite trends for fall 2022 but if you have a pleated skirt or any skirt like that throw it on okay and make it an outfit um but back to this outfit um love 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 it i love the play on you know the similar textures the silk and the satin or the silk satin or the satin satin and then i paired this outfit with um black stockings because as i said child it was cold and you know me i'm not i'm not i'm not meant for the cold <laughs> and then i threw on with um this outfit with a black parton boot from Stuart weitzman very comfy boot if you were or if you are ordering this though, make sure you order a size and a half up or a full size up because it's very snug. Um, really well made boots. Love, love, love them. Very comfy as I said. It has an hourglass heel, so sexy. Um, and it's croc embossed too. So it was playing off of the sheen from the, you know, the satin and the silk with the embossed and the croc embossed from the boot. Really enjoyed this outfit. Also, I paired this outfit with a black mini bag that I also got from Shein and it matches the boot exactly. Croc embossed. Of course, it's full, full croc. 
embossed from Shein, but it still matches nicely. All in all, this outfit was really giving it, okay? I really love this outfit, and I think that you guys did as well. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments how I did. And for the last outfit of the week, this outfit is probably my favorite too. So I wore this beautiful ivory craft and borrow turtleneck. It is so comfy. It is so warm, but it's still so stylish and chic. It is from my mother's closet. So mom, if you're watching this, shout out to you. <laughs> Thank you for this outfit. But um, I'm not sure if this brand is like a brand or thing. I don't know. But I would definitely link similar ones below. It's literally just a basic um, turtleneck top. But um, I paired this with a beautiful peach satin skirt. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this skirt. It has um, a tie front, which I think is so feminine, but so chic as well. And I just love the comparison and the pair of um, silk satin, like I was saying, and like a wool knitted texture. But I also love the colors together. Oh my gosh, it is so cool. Love it. It's just, it's just so beautiful. And um, I wore this with my, where did I get this boot? Schutz boot. Schutz. 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 Something like that boot. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But these are their leather croc and boss boot. And it is in an eggshell white. So it matches the, um, the turtleneck pretty well. And um, very comfy as well. Very, I think you know on trend and i think it's very fashionable okay so this is my fourth outfit for the week and for the bag i wore my eggshell i would say like eggshell ivory kate spade bag love this bag i would never sell this bag i don't care what you guys say about kate spade i love this bag this bag goes with so many outfits and for this one it was perfect it was just matching with the um the turtleneck and the boot and then you have the pop of color with it love it i love these two um color combos as well very gorgeous and of course i love it on my skin tone <laughs> so that's definitely a plus okay, that is it <laughs> those were my outfits for the week let me know which one was your favorite of course and let me know which one you can see yourself wearing okay let me know Thank you so, so, so much for tuning in. I will see you in my other video, all right? And make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, see you later.